Um, I also have a tag called done. So these are, um, right now I'm in the projects notebook, so these are all projects that are finished. Um, so it's kind of like, I don't want to delete it. I might need it later, so I'm just going to keep it. I'm going to put it in done. Um, and also, when I put something as done, I want to have as a reference. So right now, these are still an active project, so it's something I forgot. So I want to put uh, these two projects in reference because I don't want to see them in my active projects anymore. If they're done, the reference material. Um, and if there's any next actions or back actions that are also done, I want to put these all into um, my reference folder as well. I don't want to see them anymore. I don't. I don't want them to uh, take take up any brain power. So I'm just gonna just highlight all these and just put them into reference, just like that. Real easy. Um, oh. Wow. Animals. What are you gonna do? Uh, this next tag is called miscellaneous. So, most of this stuff in here, if not all of it, this is all reference material. So, as you can see, they're all, all in the reference notebook. So, these are references that don't have to do with a project um, or an action. And they're things that I want to look at. I just want to store. Um, this used to be called storage, um, but I think miscellaneous is a better representation of what it is. So. Of my you know internet password for Wi-Fi at home, um, just kind of just random stuff in here that uh, I want to keep. So I'll have here's a business business card from uh, my eye doctor, um, blog post that I finished, um, LA Fitness class schedule, you know, miscellaneous reference material. Um, and then within that tag, I have um, a couple other tags. So I have book notes. Uh, these are all notes of, uh, from from books I've read. So I want to keep this stuff. I want to look back on it um, and maybe use it um, potentially. So I have two books that I need to take notes on right now: um, E Myth and Good to Great. And right now, it's not it's not something that I'm really putting a priority on, so it's it's in a back burner right now. Um, when I have more time, if I ever have time, um, it'll be ready for me to to get going on. Um, of, uh, other book notes that I have that are done, that are reference, are uh, from Freakonomics. Uh, a couple other ones: Ignore Everybody, Getting Things Done. Rework. As you can see, these are pretty long. Some of them, some of them are more extensive than others, but they're there if I need them. Uh, I also have a tag um, under career, so I have a couple of uh, uh, of things here um, that come from from every notebook. So this is kind of a list of companies that I'm keeping track of. They're kind of cool companies in Seattle office. I want to just keep tabs on. Um, this is an article, uh, a blog post, so it's a, it's, a, it's in the reference material. Um, update LinkedIn profile. It's a back action. I'm not really trying to do it right now, but I, I, I could bang it out in you know an hour or so. Um, I also have a project to redesign my resume using PowerPoint. So this is from an article from David Say. David Say, I think his name. So that would be a project. It'd be take a little bit of work, um, but maybe not. That's why it's in back burner. So I'll, if it, if it became an active project or or next action, I would kind of review to see which uh, how many action steps it would take to to finish. Um, then other couple couple other things um, that are references. Um, I have a take called food. So these are mostly recipes or just any interesting articles that have to relate to food. Um, right now these are all reference material, but let's say if I wanted to, um, you know, if I wanted to actually do this recipe, I will put this in my next action uh, notebook um, to make sure I actually do it and learn 
how to do this recipe in, in, in the future. And then I'll put it back into reference once I actually memorize it. Um, I showed you my guitar uh, notebook, uh, guitar tag. So I'll have a couple of next actions, a couple of projects that I want to do, a couple of back burners, um, and a couple of reference material. Um, yeah. And also have one other tag called uh, health. So I, you know, I have a back burner project called make a kettlebell. Um, I have a back action where I might want to buy uh, a product. And I have a couple of references about how to get over hangover and a couple uh, in a workout video that might be useful later. So those are all my tags. Um, and I'll, actually, I also have a, um, these are tags that are from my shared notebook. So if I go to articles, which is my shared notebook, and I go to, um, uh, or all, all the articles, all the articles in here are tagged under um, these two tags, so it's either essential knowledge or productivity stuff. So that's what you'll find there. Um, the last thing that I'm going to go over is save save searches. So uh, save searches can be pretty powerful. Um, so let me just start from the top. Um, so right here, I have a, an agenda search for the Peterson project that I'm doing at work. So this is a, a save search for any tags in the next action notebook that are tagged with agenda and Peterson. So it needs those two tags to be in this list. So uh, for example, if I'm not um, in this search, if I just go to Peterson and um, if I highlight that and if I highlight agenda at the same time, that's going to be the, the exact same thing. So instead of me having to do that, um, highlight Peterson and agenda to figure out what's in that list, um, all I have to do is just go to Peterson and agenda, save search, and um, I uh, save some time. So I also have the same thing for a project to work called RSD. Um, I have a save search that are um, all Altarian actions. So anything I have to do at work, that's an action. It's all listed here. So I have, um, I'll show you what, which. So as you can see, um, the save search highlights all the tags that you're searching for. Um, so I have all my projects in here. Um, I should also have Alterian highlighted, so that's another thing I'm going to have to do later is to uh, add that search um, or add that tag to this save search. And as you can see, um, it's in the next action notebook. Um, I also have a, a save search for all Alterian projects. I have uh, next actions for uh, LMX project, which I don't have any. Um, next actions for Peterson. Next actions for RSD. Um, I have uh, I have uh, and, and here I have anything that I'm waiting for under Peterson. So this is tag. This is a safe search with waiting for and Peterson. Uh, same thing, waiting for an RSD. Uh, this is uh, in another inbox uh, save search I have. So this is anything that's not uh, tagged is going to be in here. Uh, let's see, what else do we got? We got another save search that are uh, um, actions for uh, my blog or life. So anything not have to do with work is saved under here. And so the way I did that as you can see, uh, this little bar right here will tell you what this uh, save search is searching for. So it's searching for notes and uh, next actions that have none of the following tags. So they don't have this tag, this, 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 or this. So none of it, none of those tags in here. Every other tag that's in the next actions notebook is in here. Hope that makes sense. And the way to do that, uh, which I've showed in my other tutorial, is to do the minus tag 
let's say I don't want to have, um, let's say, uh, let's say I don't want to have the life tag. So it will get rid of any note that has that, that tag in it as well. And so all those will be gone. And these are just tags uh, or actions that have to do with my blog. And so if I change this to blog, it'll get rid of all the uh, tags with blog. And these are just um, um, life tags. So I'll get rid of that. Back to normal. And the last safe search I have is uh, active projects for blogger life. So same thing with the last uh, saved search, but um, these are only projects that have to do with blogger life, nothing to do with work. So these are all my projects I have going right now. Um, they're active projects. So we have Learn Photoshop, which we, which I showed you how to do, um, which I don't want to be an active project right now. So I'm going to change this and put that into back burners. And as you can see, it's not in the active projects, notebook anymore so it's gone so these are all my projects right now um, so that's exactly how I do everything in Evernote I know this is a long tutorial but um, I've had some people contact me about doing this uh, this tutorial and I hope it was useful um, I might do it again and kind of break it up a little bit uh, do do you know a couple on t on projects itself and get really deep into it show you a couple examples of exactly how I do it and the mechanics, but this is just a really good overview of exactly how I do everything in Evernote. Um, yeah, this is, this is everything, and I know this is a long tutorial, but I um, hope this has helped you out, and if you have any, uh, any other questions, you know, feel free to contact me. My email is cameronplumber at gmail.com, um, or I'll leave a comment. So, um, yep, yeah, uh, that, is uh, pretty much the last tutorial in this uh, this series um, about how to use Evernote. Um, if you have any other tools that that you'd like me to uh, to review and do tutorials on, uh, throw them my way. I'm always looking for new content and new things to do. So I'll uh, see you. I'll see you next time, guys. Peace.